All right, let's have a look at this IGCC extended math questions. So at this question, they say something like, okay, n is some very big number here, and then p multiply n, you will get a k. So basically, uh, this n number, I'm going to multiply a p, and then I will get a k. And over here, they tell me p is an integer. So basically, p is the whole number. So like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, any whole number for p. And k is a square number. So what's so special is after I multiply the p into this number, right, the whole number will become the square number. But how do we test whether the number is square number or not? Example, so we know that square number is 36. So if I square if I square it square number, I must get back the whole number. So this is the logic of to test whether 36 is a square number or not by squaring uh, by squaring it. Alright, so what I want to test for this one is let's say I square root 2 power of 4, multiply 3, and then I multiply 7 power of 5. Okay, you realize I didn't get a whole number here. So definitely over here, I know n itself is not the square number. So I need to find some number I multiply into this number, and then it will become a square number. So this is the whole objective for this two mark question. All right, so of course, I see this one, I know uh, p is 21, but I need to explain why I know it's uh, 21. All right, so my n is, my n will be 2 power of 4 multiply 3, this is power of 1, multiply 7 power of 5. All right, in order to make it become square number, right, one of the most important idea is the power for each of this prime number must be even. So example, 4 is even, then I think 4 is fine. I don't need to do anything. But the 3 is not, three. a uh, power of 3 is not even, it's 1. So I need to make it become even number, then I need to plus 1. Alright, I plus 1 for the power here, basically mean multiply 3 power 1, isn't it? So, okay, so and then for 7 power of 5, 5 is not the even number. I want to make it become even number. I need to plus 1 for 7 also. So over here, if you understand plus 1 for the tr base 3 here and plus 1 for the base 7 here, this one indicates me what? This one in indicates that uh, basically my p will be 3 power 1 multiply 7 power 1. Alright, you might find a bit weird. Okay, let's break it out. So this is 2 power 4 multiply um, 3 power 1 plus 1 way right? means what? Plus in power we know actually mean multiply 3 power 1 and then I multiply 7 power 5 plus 1 over here means what? Mean multiply 7 power 1. Okay, let, let me change back to the same color. It's easier for you to see 7 power 1. All right, and then you should be able to see all the white color here is my N here. And the yellow color here is I add it in. I multiply this number into the n. So this will be the p here. So p is 7 multiply 1. p is 21. Okay. And how do you know I'm not lying to you? Or how do you know this one is a correct answer? Okay, so what I want to do right now is... Okay, this is the value n at the calculator. I hope you can see. So if I cancel out the square root, and then the whole number here, I multiply uh, 21. Okay, I get a very big number. All right, I don't care. What I really care is if I type square root answer here, if I can get decimal, mean my answer is, is wrong here. So I type enter, I get a whole number. So I know uh, 21 is a correct. Okay, then come to the next questions. How do we know 21 is the smallest values of P? Okay, because we're trying to, because in order to make the power become even number, right? I have a loss of uh, different methods, right? I can make the 4 into the 6 by, by, uh, by plus 2. Or I can make 1 into the uh, 12 by plus 11. Or I can make 5 into the 50 by plus 49, uh, 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 plus 45. So I can plus as big as possible and then eventually it's still or uh, even number, then eventually it's still a, uh, we call it a square number. But in order to make it become the smaller, uh, the smallest values of P. So over here, I will choose 
whenever it's an even number, I will not touch it. If it's odd number, for the power, I will just simply plus one. This is how I make sure I will always get the uh, smallest value of rate. So if you not believe me, I can just do a quick example to show you. Let's say this is two power four. All right, let's say this is three power one, right? I make it become three power four. And then this one, right, is like seven power five. I make it something like seven power of 10. Okay, you see, if I square root two power of four, multiply 3 power of 4, multiply 7 power of 10, I definitely, I will get a, a whole number here. Because what is the meaning of square root? If you learned about indices before, right, you know square root basically means power of 1 over 2. So what we want to do is, if we can like factorize out the 2 here, so example, if I factorize out the 2 for every single one, like 2 power of 2, multiply 3 power of 2, multiply 7 power of 5, the whole thing power of 2, and then I square it, you realize half and 2, I can simplify. This is the reason why I will get the whole number. So same idea like 36, right? If I want to square it, it's power of half. So normally what we do is 36, we will change it into the 6 square power of half. Then we simplify, we'll get 6, isn't it? This is the reason why we square it of 36, um, uh, we actually get 6. Alright, if I want to like explain further a little bit, I know 36 is basically 9 multiplied 4. And 9 is basically is a 3 square. 4 actually is 2 square. I can group both of them together, become 3 multiplied 2 square. So if I square root the whole thing, square and square root, I cancel out, I still left 3 multiplied 2, is still 6. Right, this is everything um, is about indices. So if you understand about indices, you won't find this kind of question really hard. But if you are not, then you might find it a bit challenging for you to uh, understand it. Right, I'm, I'm hard. I hope this uh, short video actually can help you to understand. If you still don't understand about this two mark question, you can post at the comment section below. Or else I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.